hi guys today we're gonna look at how we can select tip of the deforming geometry in houdini 90. hi again dyson here let me walk you with my setup first as you can see we have this model and i am using the vellum solver and i'm using this sphere to stream the water or grain and that's our simulation okay let's suppose we have this simulation let me turn this off okay and as you can see we have vellum particle here and our simulation is not straight line we have this particle and this particle is streaming to down so let's suppose we need to select the tip of the simulation one way to do that let's go to vellum solver and let's drop here a pop wrangle pop wrangle okay and now let's type at sign h plus equal at sign time inc okay and now let's simulate that okay let's check spreadsheet and let's search age and that attribute age will determine the uh, age of our particle so let's visualize that color and let's change color type to ram from attribute let's select edge here and let's tweak the range and let's invert the color for good visualization as you can see the black one will be older one the edge is not give give us the tip of the geometry because the viscosity the older one will be beneath the younger one so let's suppose let's drop the delete here and let's go to expression let's type at sign age greater than one for instance let's change that to point okay let's change the one to five and as you can see we don't have the tip of the geometry the age is not working here okay another approach to do this we're gonna measure the distance from a specific geometry okay for example let's drop sphere here and let's place this sphere far enough from the tip of our geometry by the way if you like this video please subscribe for more content now let's drop distance from geometry here and let's connect this here and let's select manipulate tools and let's change that to distance from inside the geometry or outside and now as you can see we have the distance attribute here let's see that okay this number will be determining our distance of the specific geometry now i want to sort this point order by the distance attribute to do this we're gonna drop sort node here and let's bring our spreadsheet and pay attention to spreadsheet and let's change that to by attribute let's select distance and voila as you can see our point order change based on distance attribute now let's create group by range here okay and let's change that to point and let's put a 1000 to end and let's change the range type to start and and voila as you can see we are selecting the closest point to the, the specific geometry here that will be one to thousand point and you can increase that to expand the selection as you can see and that's the approach works here for example you can delete the rest of the geometry and use this for instance to add fire into your simulation i guess that's it guys by the way we have extra section in this tutorial see you in the next video bye so welcome to extra section in this section i will show you more example and more issue to solve that might be helpful for you 
So for that, relax, have a coffee and enjoy the rest of the video.